I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell Latitude 7440. The service tag number is an B8RHFY3. The regulatory model is a P174G. This is a 2023 uh, version. And in this video, I'm going to go on step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove the hard drive, the SSD and upgrade it to a higher capacity. And it's really easy, simple to do it and it's not hard. So you, if you got the 256 gig version or 500 gig version, you can up, upgrade it to have up to 4 terabyte. And depending when you're watching this video and if they have a higher capacity, you can put it even up to 8 terabyte if they did, they do make it. Because they do use a PCI Express gen 4 uh, nvme all right uh, just remember by removing the main storage in here you have to install windows freshly install from the usb drive i'll make a video how to create your windows 10 usb boot drive or windows 11 usb boot drive they're all the same and once you create your windows 10 usb boot drive once you put the new drive in here you just plug in the usb and you power on and you just follow the step-by-step -step installation guide it's just like installing a regular program. I made a video how to install Windows properly on your Dell laptop. Watch those videos so you don't end up with all those bloatware installed on the laptop, which are those Candy Crush or affiliated programs and stuff like that. So check those links in the video description in case you need to want, you don't know how to do it. All right, in this video, we're just gonna open it up and do a demonstration how to upgrade or remove the storage. All right, first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop or before you power up, back up your files to cloud or to an external storage. And you want to flip it upside down. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using a knife fix screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metal guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right. With these two on hand, we're going to get it started. Down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws, three screws on the side of the laptop, one in the middle and one on the back mid. All right, we're going to loosen up the screws because the screws will not come out entirely because they have a little bottleneck that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So all you need to do is to rotate, unscrew it counterclockwise until the screw becomes really loose and it stays like that. So don't yank it out, just leave it like that. You want to do the same thing to the rest of the screws. Just leave it like that. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I really appreciate that. All right, now that we loosen up all, all the screws, there we go. You want to grab yourself the opening tool. First, we're going to start on the back corner. Doesn't matter whichever corner you start from. You want to stick the opening to about one or two millimeter in there and make sure that you have this gap opened in there. And it goes back together, so it doesn't matter. Once you have that one opened, you want to walk to the other side of the hinge right here. You want to stick about one or two millimeter and then you want to twist it like that. And you want to hear big click sound. Those are the clips are getting loose. So you want to do that all across the back end by the grill and go to the back corner on the other side. All right. Now you might want to try that on the side too. You can do that about one or two millimeters, stick it in there, work yourself across. Or once you did the back corners on the back mid, you want to lift it up and you want to feel, okay, you know what, you work it around and it will snap the clips on the sides and you can release them. You're not breaking anything, it's just tiny clips that the hooks that go right on the bottom, on the palm rest. So there we have it. All right, down here, we're gonna see right away that there is no option for 2.5 inch mechanical drive or 2.5 inch solid state drives. So you can't put a solid state drive or mechanical drive in here. There's absolutely no space for it. All right, so that's out of the question. And then I'll see right away that there's a space that it says SSD right in here. And they, unfortunately for this type of laptop, it would have been really nice if they give you a full size SSD space in here, because that full size SSD would be like this. This is, would be a full size SSD this is a SATA, but it would be just like this. So we know that is not that one. So it's a shorter size SSD. To remove this one, so you don't want to create any short on the board by removing the screw, so it's safe to just pull this flip thing 
straight upward toward the ceiling if you it's flat down so that's the connector for the battery then you want to unscrew this screw right at the back this screw is a Phillips zero so you want to grab your Phillips number zero and you want to remove that tiny screw once you remove that screw you want to lift up this cover you want to bring it up straight upward there's a little thermal pad in here and then we can see a 500 gigabyte SSD NVMe right in there you might want to you might have a 200 gigabyte stuff like that now you're like okay how do I remove this I'm going to use a tweezers now you don't want to I can see it comes up but it's not coming up entirely completely I don't want to yank it upward if I do I'm going to damage the them right in here so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring it up about five degree upward I'm going to use my finger I'm going to push it right up where the RAM is, where the SSD is right there. I'm going to push it towards the back while I'm holding it in a 5 degree, 10 degree. So there we go. Once you do that, the SSD will come out. This is a short size SSD. Uh, and we have different sizes. So we have the really short one, the medium size, and the full size SSDs. This is a SATA, but NVMe, they do come with the same format. So it's very sad that you can only go with a short SSDs. I've seen these ones up to two terabyte or four terabyte, depending where you look and what time of the year or what year you're looking at this video. If you get a four terabyte, you can install it. I'll leave the link for a compatible one in here in the video description. So all you want to do, make sure the notch on the SSD matches the notch right on the DIMM. You want to bring it straight in, in 510 degree, and you want to push it inside the dim and make sure it goes all the way in and the screw holes has to sit flush with the SSD. So you have to make sure that the SSD is sitting flush with on the board and the screw hole is nicely aligned in there. Once you have that one in there, you want to grab the top heat spreader and then you want to bring it over straight and then you want to put it on top and just want to push it down and it will just snap to its place. It will go right there. Now, to finish it off is to put the tiny screw that you removed right on the cover. Once you do this one and you power on, it will say that there is no operating system, obviously, because there's nothing in the drive. So you have to install it from the USB drive, the Windows. You want to grab the connector for the battery and you want to align it straight over the jack. And you want to push it down make sure it clicks in straight flat down once you got that one in place to finish it off is to just grab the bottom cover align it put on top and you want to squeeze the bottom cover to be the palm rest and you want to hear those big click sounds on the side go work yourself to the back end in here you want to grab it from the grill and then you want to pinch them together really hard and it will just snap to its place and that should be all and one last step is to tighten up the screws on the bottom cover and this is how you remove or upgrade your ssd storage for your dell latitude 7440 i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a the video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws and that should cover up today's video.